Hello everyone, I am Laura Adele, Chief Data Scientist at Microsoft. I work for the AI Sustainability and Market Development team. And that's a lot of words for uh, essentially working on AI projects that have a corporate social responsibility angle. Hi, I'm Kirk Bourne. Uh, I'm currently the Chief Science Officer at a new AI startup called Data Prime. And I'm also the founder and own single owner of a new uh, freelance group that I formed called Data Leadership Group. Hi, I'm, I'm Pascal Bonnet. I'm um, the Chief Data Officer at ERA Technology. Um, I'm also uh, an influencer in the technology space. Um, I'm passionate about what technology can make for our world. The trends in AI for this past year and for going into 2022 are uh, pretty strong. I, I think the pandemic had a lot to do with companies just realizing uh, they needed a lot more sort of technology to deal with the, the work from home transition, uh, dealing with all the changes in what the way people are, are performing and behaving and acting in the workplace and in the consumer world and in their personal lives. And so you see more and more automation and technology coming into businesses to satisfy those needs of not only their customers, but also their employees. Making people more human with AI is another key component of, of what AI needs to focus on. And I'm thinking here of AI leveraging automation to enable people to focus on the most value added and most fulfilling work activities. So I see the democratization of AI moving forward in 2022 through the use of AI in everything we do. I think what we're going to see in the democratization of AI is we're going to see, you know, our business processes and our tools for business process, you know, uh, fueled by AI. So things like Microsoft's, you know, Power Apps. This is a, a tool that's been created for the citizen developer to really um, automate business processes and create different applications. I think we're going to start to see a lot of AI infused into them without us maybe even knowing it's there. What I'm the most excited by in 2022 uh, is uh, the capacity of AI to understand as much as possible people, um, being able to provide those people with the maximum value in the services, um, being able to uh, create seamless and frictionless interfaces uh, between the technology and people. I think in 2022, um, AI needs to become closer to people. Uh, and that's one of the only way most of those companies will be able to scale the impact of artificial intelligence. And so I, I think the more and more attention will be given to bias. And one thing I like with, about some of the applications I've been seeing coming out lately is they're actually testing for bias. So there's a lot of really innovative and creative things people are doing to really pay attention to the issues around bias in AI and machine learning and all these technology applications. I think bias in AI is huge, period. It's, to me, this is one of the most important points that we as data scientists, as well as as a company, as well as you know, uh, just humans in general, need to put bias and fairness at the center of everything we do when we use the power of AI. And I think a lot more companies are looking towards what they're calling responsible AI. We need to ensure that responsible AI is at the center and that any model we build as data scientists has fairness and bias um, and biases at its core. You know, Microsoft's done a great job creating an um, algorithm called FairLearn that really takes to the next level the ability to understand your AI models, to create that explainability, and to help you understand when your data is skewed. I think cybersecurity, uh, you know, it's always been a vital factor for, for Microsoft and even more so in the rise of digitization. And so I think it's going to be up to companies like Microsoft and what we're doing to really democratize enterprise security so that people understand what it means to really, you know, lock down but still enable the power of these amazing IoT AI enabled devices, but done in a very smart um, and really, you know, zero trust way where, you know, from Fraud and, and looking at things like anomaly detection are just germane to the process. So I think we're going to see a lot more of that democratization of cybersecurity and a, a much more general end-to-end -end understanding of what it means when we're talking about smart devices and security all up. In AI, there's a big discussion around security, both in terms of the security of individuals, 
So I think there's a, a lot of interest now in, in trying to figure out what are the useful cases that are not privacy invasion. So patterns in data is really what AI is automating, automating those patterns to make decisions. And I think we can find a way across that chasm of security and privacy to still make it a productive application of the technology. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really